adventure to me is really doing something that I'm afraid of. It's like a, a case of in the feeling of I want to do it, yet I'm afraid of doing it, and I don't know what's going to come about. So that's really an adventure. This is the first time that I fly all the way from Singapore to US and I'm doing it myself. So it is really a big adventure for me because I'm not sure what I'm going to expect. This year, I must say I'm really happy to be here because I was supposed to come in 2020 but COVID strike and uh, it's like two years later. So during that period of time, as you know, like uh, Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett, they are not that young, <laughs> although I wish them to have a very, very long life. But it's like, I'm afraid, what if I couldn't come during that time of 2020? I, I didn't get a chance to really meet up with them and attend the AGM. So this time around, I must say I'm really, very blessed. I just know I'm going to go for the AGM as well as I'm going to uh, meet with a lot of value investors so really want to uh, be able to interact with them learn from them and also to probably network with them and get to know more friends really when like other people come together it's really very happy to see and get new ideas in this area especially of value investing My adventure begins two days before the annual Berkshire AGM. Here, I take a ride to the airport before embarking on a three-hour flight to Omaha, where the AGM will be held. I've come to realize that it's perhaps not the best idea to fast when traveling through different time zones. So the first place I decided to head to after touching down to Omaha was someplace special. We are at Garrett Steakhouse. This is where Warren Buffett always have his steak and this is his private room. The server knows that we come from Singapore and give us this private room. This is where Warren normally would sit. Wow. Yes. Sorry. Why do you recommend this okay. combination? This is what Warren Buffett and Bill Gates get when they come here. One half is the filet, the other half is the New York strip. Warren also likes our homemade hash browns and his favorite is our spaghetti. Always, always gets the same thing pretty much. Ah, Unless right. it's lunch, then he eats a little lighter. Wow! Do you do this? Do I you do, do this, this all the time? Often? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so wait, Maybe. it's, it's got to be just like this. <laughs> wow, wow. Yep, this was my reaction when I was served up something rather unexpected. Well, at least I'll get to see the real Warren Buffett at the AGM in two days. This is the blue cheese salad which Warren Buffett loves to eat. I'm going to have my dinner because this is my first meal for the day. The dinner is value for money. Yes, guys, if you have a chance to come to Omaha, you might want to visit this steakhouse that Warren Buffett always visit. It's called the Garrett Steakhouse. And uh, he has a really good server, Rita, who also served me during this uh, evening. I also met with uh, quite a number of value investors. And these value investors, they know some of our 8V and 8I team members. So although this is my first time here, they are very, very nice. I get to know Alan, all right? And he's actually a veteran in attending the uh, Berkshire AGM. And this is his 14th year coming to Omaha to attend the AGM. You know, the, the most important thing that I would like to achieve, just like many of you who join V College is this, to have like-minded people who talk about value investing. And I believe when people do value investing, there's certain principles, values that's very aligned. Tomorrow, uh, yes, I'm going to visit Warren Buffett's house. So I'll share with you more what I've learned, okay? You see the sign here, right? So, yeah. so this is the headquarters. So you want to ride a bus to go in? <laughs> <laughs> We are now at Memo Hall and I'm going to attend the Berkshire Systems Summit. 